Welcome back to consecutive day 1058 of the Diary of a Rumpreneur. Today's topic I want to talk to you about is the Dream 100 marketing strategy. So uh, please do remember to give this a subscribe, share, like and comment as the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. All the information about the challenge, how you can get involved is in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always and let's get started. So, consecutive day 1058 of a diary of a rumpreneur. And um, today's topic is the Dream 100 marketing process or strategy. Now, um, the reason for the topic is this marketing strategy is the foundation of my new business opportunity, which is a marketing agency. Now, um, those of you who've watched my, my vlog will know a long time ago I was looking at getting into the marketing agency space um, with my marketing systems processes, contact with content repurposing uh, model. However, it was quite labor intensive and with everything going on in the other businesses, it just got put on the back burner and the back burner and the back burner and never really happened. So um, cut a long story short, we came across a niche um, in this space that we're hoping to um, utilize to grow the marketing agency and it's and the niche is around this simple marketing strategy which until recent times has been incredibly difficult for people to do um, but some of the biggest marketers in the world state that if they were going to do a day's consulting consultancy with a business charging anything from a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars for a day's marketing consultancy this is the process they will follow so clearly it is very very highly thought of, very, it has a huge success, but it's very difficult to master. And that's what we call the Dream 100 strategy. And it was created by an American marketeer many moons ago called Chet Holmes. And um, the process was, it's how you can be very, very targeted to get your dream avatar or your dream customer to come into your world, whether that's to your website or whether it's to your business whatever it is you're trying to drive people or traffic as it's known in the online space into your kind of product ecosystem or product or service ecosystem or business catchment if you like and um the idea about it is that the kind of way most people do it is through a lot of organic social media based marketing which is good in certain instances but you you often get heavily diluted with so many people that are are not relevant to what you're trying to target. Uh, Facebook ads and Google ads become very expensive and quite difficult to, to get the kind of results you're looking for. Um, and people do um, all sorts of wild and racky marketing strategies without any real direction around it. Now, the Dream 100 process is very simple. It's, it is a, a concept of trying to identify the 100 dream or best potential partnerships and collaboration opportunities you can find who already have a client base or following of your dream customer. So it's like creating this distribution network to kind of piggyback the customer base of, of, of these big distribution outlets, if you like. Now, when I say distribution, they could be influencers, they could be Facebook groups, they could be websites, they could be businesses, they could be blogs, they could be any kind of things. So ultimately you're trying to identify a hundred of the best partnerships and collaborations. So it's normally something along the lines of where your product or service will complement what that individual does or what that business does. Or, you know, we always say it's people, products and places are the three areas you want to focus on. So hundred people or up to a third of a hundred, 33 people, 33 products or services that complement what you offer and uh, 33 places, they could be online or offline, so forums, um, could be you know, um, networking groups, whatever, they could be online or offline, places where, where your target consumer hang out. And then you're gonna to put together some kind of collaboration opportunity, could be in, in, the, in, in many different forms, it could be Skillshare, so you offer your product or service free and in return for them to promote it, or it could be an affiliation, so any sales that come from their traffic 
they get a commission. Um, it could be a, you know, you'll be a podcast guest for them if they promote your product or service. Loads of different ways you can be creative here to find a, a way to collaborate <laughs> with these people. And what you're going to do then, you're going to reach out to them and create a, a process of following up with them consistently over the course of time. Because the reason you have 100, at least 100 people on your list is because the success rate or the response rate is so low. And that's where discipline and consistency comes into play. Because all it takes is one of these uh, people to respond or, or, or products or places to respond. And it can exponentially take you to the next level in business just from one collaboration. And what usually happens is once you get one, <laughs> you can then get two, three, four, and your business just goes to the next level, 10x to the next level. And um, so that's what the whole marketing agency concepts are out. And it's about having a team of, of people who've trained up um, where we've got remote workers from overseas. So we can, our cost base is lower, so we can offer a service out to micro business owners, not micro business owners are the space we want to because they're normally people that don't have huge marketing budgets but they're more importantly they don't have enough time to focus on this type of strategy which is pretty um, laborious and challenging but it generates monumental results when you're consistent and disciplined with it so um that's what the business is about um so yeah i wanted to talk you through it just so um it's quite good for me to talk through my opportunities and and obviously you're, you're almost scrutinizing it myself but um, super excited about this. We're building the funnel at the moment. Um, we should be able to run some test businesses, which are going to be my internal businesses, um, through this process first to see how successful it is. And we'll hone it down and then we'll offer it out on a DIY basis so people can do it themselves. And further down the line, the upsell will be that we can help them on a kind of a hybrid level. So do some of it for them, but not all of it. And then there will be a done for you service at some point in the future. So I'm super excited. Um, most of the story is, I've talked about it several times, but success really does leave clues, especially in marketing. If uh, you're seeing people getting in crazy results, then follow what they do and try and replicate what they do. And this is a concept that's happened for years and years and years. And I know people personally who've had huge success with it. And I know it works, but I've never executed it to its full potential myself. But um, I've now built a team around me who can do this. And um, I'm super excited to do it for not only my businesses and take my businesses to the next level, but to grow this marketing agency to help so many more. So um, any questions or comments, drop me a line. I'll respond to everyone. Uh, do remember to give us a subscribe, share, like and comment as the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. All the information about the challenge, how you can get involved in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always. Stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you again tomorrow.